Hi, this is Karen Greenhouse, and today we're going to explore one of the menu apps on the CG50. It exists on our other graphing calculators, so um, same process there. So I'm trying to do a series on the different apps, maybe some that you haven't really explored before. So last time I did the Physium app, and this time I'm doing the Equation app, which is uh, right here next to Conix before program, it's in DA. Since I'm in the menu, I don't actually have to hit alpha A, I can just hit where the A button is, which is right here. So if I hit that, it takes me to that menu. And what this menu app does is solve equations. So that's you know terrific if that's something you want to be using with your students to check their answers, or another way you can actually use it is to give them several different equations, have them use app to get the solutions and then try to work backwards. How did how could you get that solution without using an equation? See if they can figure out the patterns that are developing. So it's relatively easy. You come in and you've got some choices. You can do simultaneous, which if you look at my examples over here, you can do. So more than one equation at a time, um, and you can do polynomials. So let's look at our first one, two at negative two x squared plus forty x equals one fifty. Um, I'm gonna go into polynomials, so I'm gonna choose F2. First thing that's asked for is what degree is it? So that's something that's important for students to understand. You know, how do I find the, the degree of my polynomial? We have a second degree polynomial. And so I'm going to hit F1 to match up the second degree. Notice you can go up to six degree polynomial. And you'll notice that it has changed the form of the equation, the standard form here. So I'm going to want to, if I don't have it in that form already, probably make sure I do that first. Uh, so we're going to move the one, positive 150 to the other side, making it a, a subtract 150 or a negative 150, however you think about it. So now I just enter in my coefficient values. So my coefficient for this first term is a negative 2, so I'm going to simply enter that in under where it says A. I'm going to hit execute after each time. My coefficient for the second is 40, so I'm going to choose 40, hit execute, and my final coefficient C is negative 150. So I'm going to put that in and hit execute. So now I've entered in my coefficient values and I'm ready to either clear it if I made a mistake, change it if I made a mistake, or hit F1 for solve. So I'm going to choose F1. And here are my two solutions. X can be a positive 15 or a positive 5. So either one of those solutions is going to work, which makes sense. That's a second degree equation. I should have two solutions, unless both solutions are the same, right? All right, so let's hit exit out of that. That's how you solve a simple polynomial um, up to degree 6. So let's go back to our other option, which was solve simultaneous, so more than one. So we're going to hit F1 this time, because simultaneous is F1. And how many unknowns do I have? Well, I have x, I have y, I have the z. So I have three unknowns. So those, again, you can go up to six unknowns. We're going to choose f2 here. And it's going to ask me again to enter into my coefficients. So I've got, in front of this x, I've got a 1. And notice that I get basically a matrix, matrices have been developed. So I have three unknowns. So I have three rows and columns, four columns. So I'm going to enter my first coefficient 1, so I'm just going to follow along here. Then I have a positive 4. Oh, I didn't need to do that. Um, a negative 5. My last constant is 23 here, right? So that's the D value. And then this brings me to my second row or my second equation. So I'm going to enter the same thing. So I have a 2, a negative 1, a 6. And my constant is a 5. And one thing I want to point out, notice I did not have to move like we did in the first one. I did not have to move that uh, constant on the other side of equal over. I can use it as the value that it already is because of this equation right here. So let's do our last one. We have 3. We have, and notice I'm hitting execute after each entry so that it sets it in that position and a positive 33. All right, so I've entered in all my coefficient values. I am ready to solve, and I'm going to hit 1, and it will give me my answers, my, nine, my x, my y, and my z. 
So again, this is nice if you have students doing these work manually and then they want to check their answers. Or again, you could also use a reverse. So you could have give them several systems, for example, have them find the solutions and then see if they can figure out a way to get to those solutions without using the calculator. Like how what what algebraic manipulation would we have to do in order to end that, that solution up? So that's how you use the equation menu um, right here. And thanks for listening. Bye.